Uh, Congressman, this week we have a letter from Stephen from Lewisburg, and he writes, Dear Congressman, please stand up against the Democrats' secret hearings to impeach our president. Join your colleagues and put an end to the witch hunts. My patients in central Pennsylvania need the government to work for them and solve important issues that affect their daily lives. Please help to put an end to the hateful partisan politics. Congressman, how do you respond to uh, Stephen from Lewisburg? Well, for, first off, I'd like to thank Stephen for his uh, reaching out uh, to communicate what's important to him, which I believe are many of the things that are important to people across Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District. Uh, you know, we have the USMCA agreement. We have prescription drug pricing legislation that's bipartisan before the House. We have uh, health care issues to address. We have the continuing resolution to address. We have the National Defense Authorization Act to, to address. Yet, uh, it seems like there's a group of Democrats here in Washington that want to push a narrative to undo the 2016 election. And part of us trying to end some of this happened yesterday, and that was when I joined a group of colleagues at a press conference, you know, just saying what's been happening and putting the truth out to people of, of how uh, this is taking place uh, to, to undo the election in secret in a star chamber down in the House Visitor Center. Uh, so we had our press conference. Uh, we then, uh, as, the, as the cameras noted, orderly, in an orderly fashion, walked into the skiff. And upon our entrance in there, and of course, being on the Oversight and Reform Committee, uh, I am one of the people, one of the committees that uh, the uh, rules that have been made up by the Speaker, I'm one of those committees that, uh, I'm one of those committees that can be in that room, yet they were gonna deny me access. Uh, eventually, eventually let us, they let us in. And uh, when we orderly sat down in a room, Chairman Schiff and his witness left the room. He took the witness out of the room. So I don't know what Chairman Schiff didn't want us to hear. And keep in mind that three quarters of the members or 75% of the members of Congress are not privy to information that's being heard by the majority party's staffers. And quite frankly, the, the highlight, I think if we highlight and get these hearings out and open and expose what is happening, uh, that will bring an end to this charade that they're calling an impeachment inquiry. So again, I appreciate Stephen's comments. I welcome anyone that has comments or questions on what's happening in Washington, D.C. or across Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District to contact our office and we would be happy to reach out to you and give you the answers you deserve. Mm -hmm.